Let's start off with a puzzle. What is up with these pages? Well, there's a hidden message in these pages. So, where art thou, muse, that thou forgettest so long to speak of that which gives thee all thy might? Spreadest thou thy fury on some worthless song, darkening thy power to lend base subjects light? Okay, so we are obviously not going to be reciting that. We are going to be finding the hidden message. And it's kind of easy to find it. See this word skill? You want to focus on the word skill? It's kill. So what is this hidden message? I will kill you, comma, Vincent. Okay, it is a threat. Mary Summer, whoever she is, threatened to kill Vincent. So that's that's the victim. The victim. He was working here as a gardener. Bravo, Holmes, such talent. So, the other place to uh, look is in uh, his bedroom. So, here's a puzzle. This painting was painted with watercolors. Curious. Find the hidden painting. We, we dip the brush in some water, and then we just move the water all around, make sure everything gets all nice and wet so we can get rid of all the watercolors. So I've played a couple of the other Sherlock Holmes games. I've played uh, Sherlock Holmes vs. Arson the Pin, um, and Sherlock Holmes Helm the Baskervilles. In both of those games, they had this exact same puzzle. <laughs> I, I guess somebody who works at the Sherlock Holmes company really, really likes this puzzle. Uh, what you need to do is wet everything down, and then sponge it off. Yep, to reveal a hidden painting underneath. And you'll notice I have to scrub each square multiple times. One, two, three, four, I don't know how many times, like five or so. And that will actually reveal the painting underneath. So clearly we have a painting of a young woman. And oftentimes you'll get a situation like this, where I'm trying to scrub that piece there, but it's not wet enough. It's not wet enough, so I need to wet it again. So basically the puzzle is, I, I get everywhere wet with the sponge, I mean I get everywhere wet with the brush, I just rub my brush over every square of the screen over and over again, then I rub my sponge over every square of the screen over and over and over again, it's somewhat repetitive. Beautiful, so we're almost done with it, I think. Come on, this this picture, I can clearly see the picture. We don't need to do any more, right, Holmes? Holmes is insisting on more, okay. Um, Holmes will let us know when we've cleared off enough. Come on, Holmes, that's enough, that's enough. There we go, okay, we got it, yay! It's a painting of a woman. A woman's portrait. It is no longer in doubt. A love story. This is a love story, yes, indeed. Oh, I love love stories. I wish I had become a romance novelist instead of a detective. So, who is this new suspect at Scotland Yard? Let's go to Scotland Yard. Our new suspect, of course, is the woman. So, Mary Summer. So, we need to find out all these things. They're hidden somewhere in the picture of her. I had been involved with Vincent for a few months. I was the one who supported him. He was worse than a child. He always came into my box or backstage. We're going to explore both of those areas. I threatened to kill him because he sold a jewel that I that that I really liked. But I wouldn't really kill him, right? Come on, you can't believe that, can you? So we need to find her hair and a ribbon. And it's, it's really hard to move your mouse over to see what these things we're looking for are. Okay, so a uh, footprint. We're going to need a footprint from every character in the game. We're going to need blood from every character in the game. It's kind of gross, but we do getting ribbon, that was a fingerprint, we need to get a fingerprint, we need to get hair from every, every person in the game too, and um, let's see, there we go, okay, so the final item is uh, cigarettes, cigarettes, because there was cigarette ash at one of the crime scenes, I think, so we're done with this level, hooray, congratulations Holmes, your talents have made sense of all the clues, kind of, level three. I'm satisfied, Watson, because we have a first suspect, and that grants us the authorization to see the photos from the murder. I'm equally impatient to inspect the Aston Theatre. Okay, 
So let's actually go to the... Oh wait, no, we cannot. Okay, so the game is going to teach us what we can do at Sherlock Holmes' house. Now, we could have done this earlier. I was kind of ignoring it, but we're going to do it now. We can analyze things at the analysis table. So you want to use the microscope and little vials to analyze stuff. It's really, really simple. You take a, a piece of evidence, you put it on the microscope, you cut it with a scalpel, and then you pick it up with tweezers. So you're going to be doing this with a lot of pieces of evidence, which is sort of why I was putting it off, is because, you know, let, let's just save it for the end of the game. Just do all of this at once. Okay, so we tweezered everything. Hooray, we're amazing. Now let's go back to investigation. So let's investigate at the theater. Uh, the two spots we want to investigate are the box and backstage. Let's start with backstage. So backstage, it looks like we need to find a hat, a knife, and some traces. Okay, well, dirty stuff on the ground. That's easy. Um, cap. And, uh, in this box is a puzzle. So, this puzzle has you move everything from left to right, and right to left. So, a square can move in one direction and jump over another square, but it can't jump over multiple squares. The trick to this puzzle is to switch between right and left and always do an extra thing each time. So, I start with one black. So now I'm gonna do two white, then I'm gonna do three black, then I'm gonna do four white, one, two, three, four, then I'll do five black, one, two, three, four, five, and then, um, then you just move everything. So one, two, three, four, five white, and then five black, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. Uh, once you figure out, once you get it started correctly, then it's really, really simple to solve the puzzle. That's that's the trick to the puzzle, just getting off on the right foot. So this gives us some filters. We're going to put those on the light. This will reveal Richmond Street. Hmm, I see. Yes, Richmond Street. Oh, and we got a statement from a new witness. Bravo, Holmes. A new witness. Okay, let's check out this new witness. Who is this new witness? Testimony. Okay, Mr. Thomas. He's the stage manager. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, the victim. Yes, he was always uneasy. And finally, the director sacked him with his threats and everything. Ah, do you think he would have? Oh, oh, I say. Incidentally, I saw him a few days after their argument backstage. He was scrubbing the wall. I didn't have time to ask him what he was doing because he fled the door as soon as he saw the director brand brandishing his cane. Ah. Hooray! And this gives us a new suspect. Okay, let's check out the new suspect. The new suspect is the owner of the theater. Mm, yes, yes, yes. He was being very mean to one of my theater stars, and he's a really terrible artist, so uh, he refused to leave arguing he needed the money, so I showed him the door. Okay, so we're gonna need hair, blood, and other stuff. Shoe print, footprint. A nail? I believe we need fingernails for most of the characters. Unless I'm mistaken. Cigarettes. Huh. Nothing on that guy's shoe, huh? I mean, hand. And everything is in his face, okay? All the evidence was in his face. Okay! Well, that's good. I suppose, what else do we have? The crime report. Yes, now we can check out the crime report. But like Holmes said, we now have uh, the ability to check out uh, the victim's corpse. We are going to do the exact same thing we did with the suspects. Okay, we need your shoe. We need your shoe. We need your hair. We need your hair. We need your um, uh, fingernail. Fingernail. Your random piece of cloth, so that's why we've been, we've been collecting cloth from all the suspects, is because, well, there was a piece of cloth on the victim. And finally, we need whatever that thing is. It was on his belt. Maybe it's his belt buckle. Okay, well, that's it. That's it for now. Let's uh, investigate uh, the, the woman's box in the next video.